Hey, Skid Row Trash here, doing a tutorial for just a little thing for conversations for your guys there and uh, townspeople and little guys running around, things like that. So this is how you do a little conversations. So you go into events, double click spot, you want to put down a guy. I just ran able to put down one of these guys here, just a random, this guy. So he's going to just be standing there. Like that, and let's put another guy over here. Let's put in this guy. Okay, cool. All right, so let's say, let's say we want to have it so this guy will say just one thing when you talk to him. So you double click on it to go back into him. You can name the uh, the event. That's what this is as an event. So let's just call this purple hair guy. So now that's what the will be known as in the game for the coding and shit or finding stuff or whatever you don't need to worry about that okay, anyways um uh this case so he's the he's just gonna be a guy he's fixed we can have him randomly slowly just walk around as well so he'll just sort of be walking around uh right now trigger is action button so when you run up and use the action button on the guy he's going to start his thing which will be over here so we're going to double click over here and you will have all these options and the one you want is show text. So you can have it so he'll just say hi, how's it going? And it'll just appear just like that. You can get a preview and here's what it'll look like. But uh, you can also have a face graphic as well. So this guy, purple haired guy, let's just make it this. That's what this guy's going to look like when you're talking to him. You can choose the position of the uh, the wind the text window. So put it at the top. Why not? And we'll have just a normal background. You can have transparent or just it'll dim everything. We'll have it as this. It's like, hey, how's it going? And then let's have a response from your character. Uh, for our, your character, let's use this look cheerful looking fellow here. He's going to say, it's going pretty not so bad. That's what it'll look like when he says it. So that's what he'll do. So now, that's a little conversation. So every time you touch, you click on him, he'll say those lines. And this guy, let's have it so he'll say one thing one time and another thing another time. So for that, we'll call him Sneaky Guy. So again, trigger action, show text. He's going to look like, this guy looks a little sneaky. He's going to say, I'm pretty sneaky. Damn it. There we go. He's going to say that. That's what it'll look like. So that's what he's going to say when you talk to him. And let's put in a little response from our guy. Where's our guy? I don't remember what our guy looked like. Let's just leave it like that. You know what? I'm going to check real quick. Apply. Yeah. People one four. That guy. Where's the cheerful guy? Okay. Sorry. Back into here? Sorry. No. You want to right click and edit if you want to do that. Otherwise, it'll put a new one above it. So we want to right-click and edit. So he says he's pretty sneaky. And then after that, below here, double-click, show text, face graphic. Where's our sneaky man? <laughs> there he is. Okay, and he'll say, you're not so sneaky. Okay, so that's what he'll say when we get there. Now we want to make it so that he'll say something else the next time you click on him. So what we're going to do is make... Uh, we're going to... Uh, where is it here? Okay. No, we're not going to do that. 
what we want to do is have a variable. So you click on variable and as you can see it's just zero. So we double click on that and these are all these variables. You can again add more if you need to. But we're going to have this one here. So our name is going to be sneaky guy. Sneak guy. Apply. So now sneak guy is now a variable. It's just zero for start. So when it's zero or above this will happen. So we're going to have to change the variable. So you go to control variables. This would be after the conversation. So he talks, he responds, then the control variable for seek sneak guy. And we're going to want to go subtract one. So it's negative one because, okay. It'll be negative one, apply. So now this whole thing will only happen when it's sneak guy is zero. And when he's done talking, sneak guy becomes negative one. So we're going to want to add a new event page. And again, we're going to have to put the same guy in. So where's our sneaky man? Is that him? No, it wasn't him, was it? There he is. Here's our sneaky guy again. So this one here should go off automatically when the other one isn't, uh, when the sneaky guy variable is less than zero. So just real quick, we're gonna go sneaky guy here again, he says, Let's just say I stole your hamburgers. And then that'll be the only thing. He'll just say I stole your hamburgers. And then we're going to... You know, we're just going to leave it like that. So from now on, he won't ever say anything yet. Other than this again. Now let's test it out and see how it goes. Alright, so I see our guy's walking around there. Let's go over and talk to him. Hi, how's it going? That's what our guy says. Oh no, that was his guy. It's going pretty not so bad. So we didn't make those both in the same position. So if we wanted to, we could have them in the same position or top and bottom, however you want to do it. But let's keep saying the same thing when you talk to him. So let's talk to this guy. Hi, I stole your hamburgers. I stole your hamburgers. I stole your hamburgers. Okay, so we, that's something wrong. We're going to have to want to go in and change that. We're going to want to move this page here. So one way, if you want to move your pages order real quick, you can just uh, copy event page, click to paste event page. So now it'll copy it. When you paste, it'll go after. So we just reverse the order. So now hamburgers in the middle. There's ones here. So now we'll just delete this first one because we copied it to after the hamburgers. So we'll just go try it again. Sometimes these page things you have to get the order properly or they will not work as you want. I'm pretty sneaky, he says. You're not sneaky. So right now the ham or the sneaky guy thing is now set to negative one. She said should say, I saw your hamburgers, and it's still negative one, so you'll always say the hamburgers again. But say we wanted him to go back to the original one, that way you could have multiple lines. You just go back into edit. And right in here, you pop in another control variable, sneaky guy again. This one, you want to add one, making it back to zero again. Hit apply. Okay. Just test it out. We'll test it out. All right. He's pretty sneak. You're not sneaky. He stole hamburgers. You see, you go back and forth between the two conversations now. So that's basically how you can do little conversations in your town, folks, and stuff like that. I hope that was all right. Sorry, I kind of fucked up there halfway through it. I kind of forgot what I was doing. Anyways, that's the conversations for you.